Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I'm here today uh, to share another makeup look work with you. And today um, I decided that I would love to work in a very uh, kind of high fashion creative makeup look. And um, the purpose of this video today is just to show you how much you can play with a with a palette, even though that palette can be matte, or the palette can contain a lot of um, foil plays um, and and or metallic finish. Okay, um, the diversity ways in which you can use a palette is endless. Okay. Exact name is the mothership to sublime. Okay. Mother Chip palette number two, Sublime. I'm going to be using the black, green, shimmers, and more. Um, as you can observe, I did conceal my eyes already. P. Lewis Romo 0 0.5. I will show you how the shade look. I love it, it's beautiful suit my skin beautifully the texture and the formulation is gorgeous this is smooth you don't have to drag the product blend very easy and um i did it all the way to my entire uh, eyes including the nose and front uh, middle uh, area of my nose okay because i'm going to be working all this area so this color is beautiful might look a little lighter but uh i have a lot of, i have a combination of undertones so if i go a little uh, darker you can see the difference so as you can see a lot of red red redness i'm sorry redness around my cheeks it because my red undertone and also i have a little tiny bit of blemishes and i did some of the color also to cover some imperfection and texture that i have i cannot make it disappear because i'm not a magician i'm a makeup artist okay if you ever go to do a makeup um look with a makeup artist you know we are not magician my loves uh, we can minimize pores, you know, using very good quality products. I just use because I have a tendency to have large pores, but I'm been using this amazing product from Chanel. Okay, it's La Base Illuminatrice. I uh, had a peachy undertone, which makes the imperfection for some reason to blur very easy. Okay, so then again, I proceed applying Rumor 05 from P. Lewis using my Makeup Forever sponge. I remove all the excess from my eye before applying the Ultra Micro Finishing Ultra HD Press Powder from Makeup Forever. Okay, depending on the look I'm doing is what I'm using. As you can see, my loves, I'm not just about Dior, uh, about uh, Chanel, about Pat McGrath, about uh, Hourglass. I use all kind of product depending on the look. So now, because this look required again, <laughs> then I have to enlighten a little bit my eyebrows this look required that so I just want to color the hairs I don't want to stain the skin okay so I go with a very soft hand painting my eyebrows hair look at the finish super fast the pigmentation of this uh, rumor 
based from uh, P. Lewis are just mesmerizing, okay? I highly recommend it if you have dry skin um, or if you have um, a problem with uh, some product creasing because you have expression lines, um, you can easily use this product. Any makeup, my must go Dermachill, the ultimate skin protectant. Okay, this product, I've been talking about this before, it produces a barrier between your skin and the product, protecting the integrity of your skin. And I'm going to proceed applying a second one to make it even more lighter. Okay, uh, the intention of this makeup look, you know, is not only to show you techniques and, and you know, to share a beautiful, amazing product like Dermachill, P. Louis, Rumor. You know, they have a huge range of shades. This pencil I'm using right now is from Makeup Forever and it's called Bone. I hope that you can see what I'm trying to do. Um, it required for me to look in the mirror back and forth. So just making sure both eyes are going to be same. This kind of work, my friends, is the kind of work, you know, that models can be using in a passarella. It's a little smaller than the one I'm using, as you can see, I'm going to proceed and apply the Artistry Wand from Pat McGrath. Get very um, vibrant. I hope you can appreciate. It's a green. The color change, the way that, depending how you move it, change the tonality, okay? But definitely is, oh my, is a gorgeous green. It is called the Intensive Ice Artistry Wind from Pat McGrath. Okay, if you are coming from work and you want to see something very relaxing, you know what, this is a better way to do it. Um, how a makeup artist can create a makeup look, you know, out of nothing, out of scratches. Okay, my friends, I'm here, back again. I already begin the transitioning with the black shade. I'm using, a, it is designed by MAC Cosmetic. I use my sponge beautiful <laughs> cleaners so on top of the green i'm been applying this mat so here i'm just making a little transitioning you can still see in the color on the green over there so it's a very kind of artistic slash creative makeup look.
pretty even, pretty symmetrical. So I'm going to start working on my inner. I'm going to proceed to apply a cream white eyeshadow from NYX on my eyebrow bone. As you can see, look, testing, testing. <laughs> Testing the colors, testing many choices, testing many different options. White is a cream white eyeshadow from NYX Cosmetic, okay? Making sure my brush is completely clean. I'm going to proceed and apply the white more or less from the center out is marrying and marrying with the black I'm being putting over there so that I can make a very nice transition as you can see I'm trying to make a transition between the black and the white So and again, my friend, from the center, I'm going to start diffusing the white and marrying the white with the black. I'm going to make this color very pretty. I don't want patches. Okay, I've been working in producing a little shadow on the wall of my nose. It's not a black, look like black. If from the same palette, I'm other chip number two. It's like a deep, deep, deep ebony, gorgeous shade. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. So far I've been using because I don't like to be using the same thing, you know, all these brushes. They are high precision. For that one, I'm going to apply gold to look like that. Okay? It's this shade here. And on top, I will be applying the gold on top. So far, no fallout is one of the things that mesmerize me. I am creating the shape in both eyes. Okay, that is the only thing that I was doing off camera because time wise, I'm fluffy. Okay, I'm going to use this. I'm going to proceed and use one of my favorite shades of all the time from Sassy Pant the very inner on my eye and this shade is called Sassy Pant. Because uh, this opal moonstone from Carla Cosmetic, oh my gosh are highly, highly pigmented and I did pick up too much. Don't worry because that can be clean easy. A product from Vanessa Myrick is called Enlight and the, the color on this one is um, Aura of light is like a white iridescent 
Today I was listening those kind of YouTube videos, my friend. A girl, I don't know if she's a makeup artist. I know everybody had a, a voice to express, you know, the impression about the product and how they feel using certain product. She was speaking so ugly about um, Vanessa Myrick's product, specifically about the very recent lunch and being on YouTube and speaking really bad about, you know, some product about this palette. Oh my goodness. I want to say she was not understanding the concept because she was speaking specifically about this color in the center, in the middle of the road, because two of these colors are flakes, okay? What means flake? They are uh, chunk particles, you know, of a uh, shimmer color with a metallic finish, and the other two are aqua colors, the two on the extreme, and you activate it with water. The middle two, you activate it with water as well. And I just try this palette like a, about three or four times. Oh my goodness. The performance on that palette is mesmerizing. You know, um, like I'm saying, uh, if somebody don't understand the concept of a product or doesn't know how to a work, a product like Danessa Meyer product that are super extremely versatile, you know, and um, it's not a palette that you should be using for the only reason is because you are going to waste your money because you don't know how to use a palette and also um, because for that kind of palette, you know, require a tiny little bit of knowledge, you know, on how to use it, where to use it. So, as you see, my friends, I still, you know, clarifying some hairs on my eyebrows. If a product doesn't work for you, it's not a meaning that the product is bad. I think uh, more than anything, we are here in this platform, you know, for the entertainment and learning as well. I think it's a beautiful look, you know, uh, are very artistic, very uh, creative. Okay, since the eyes are pretty done, I'm going to proceed with the eyeliner. I'm proceeding using Blackout from Danessa Myricks to do my eyeliner. white hair because this product is just amazing once it dry got set and don't move so i'm trying to get as closer as possible to my lash line like a continuation of my upper lash line okay so now I'm proceeding in between my lash line making sure 
I don't have any gap. When I'm doing this, just to make this line straight, I really like to close my eye a little bit. So look, that way, look really sharp. Okay, so black out by Danessa Myrex. I placed the product on the back of my hand. Was literally one dot. MAC Cosmetic, the white gel eyeliner on the bottom. I'm applying a little bit of the Artistry One product. I'm going to be used to use this beauty. It's a 5D Luxury Mink Lashes, okay? 5D XL. This are, I proceed in cleaning the bottom uh, eyelid with my beautiful Sicily Paris Moisturizer Cream. Instead of using a, a wipe and makeup remover, I really want to keep the lower eyelid very moist okay um because i have a little of a expression line on this side so i don't want to accentuate it since i'm being working okay um some of the glitter is going to remain there for the reason um that is part of the makeup look and hope you like it so I still having the blackout on my hand. I'm going to proceed using again. Look at all the colors I was trying before. And um, I'm going to apply again one or two dots of the Rumor 0 0.5, okay? So very gentle. I'm going to apply the concealer again on the area. I was cleaning. I'm 
never dragging the product. Always with loving motions. You don't want to stretch your skin because it's not a good thing, okay? So, since I have expression lines over there, I don't want to bring the product too close or to put too much product there, okay? To prevent that those lines got accentuated. Okay, my dear? Using the same concealer, I'm trying to sharpen even more that line, okay? So again, I proceed, let me put a tiny little bit here in this area. This uh, concealer from um, P. Louis is just a dream. With a concealer, is so amazing what you can do with your concealer, you know, to fix any kind of a imperfection. Look at this, the transition is so beautiful. With the warmth of my fingers, I keep dabbing and diffusing any excess of concealer. Focusing, you know, on my outer and where the lines of expressions are. Now I'm going to proceed, my friends, as I did prime my face. Don't forget what I use. Sassy Pan Carla Cosmetics. Sassy Pan, the Enlight Halo Power from Nanessa Myrex is Aura Light. The color is um, kind of diamond silverish, silver uh, finish. I've been using my sponge when I need it, which is Makeup Forever. Um, I use the palette uh, from MAC Cosmetic. It is designer, art library. Uh, one of my favorite from all the time is so versatile, uh, highly pigmented, the colors, especially the black, the matte. This is the pad, Mother Cheap, number two, Sublime. I work with this beautiful graphic, graphite color. I use this shade here. It's like a warm copper reddish shade. I did work with a gold. And yeah, basically, oh, and the most important, this gorgeous green. Look at that. <laughs> Pat McGrath, sublime. Number two, what I can do with this with applying the foundation. Okay, I'm going to use Sublimage or Sublimage from Chanel. It, the shade is 20. Let me just make sure because I normally like skin finish okay skin finish and i'm going to proceed
Let me show to you. I use normally the Chanel number one. It's mesmerizing. Hello, my friends. I just finished applying the foundation and now I'm applying a little bit of the bronzer on, you know, on the high points of my cheeks. I'm using uh, the Refer, Refer Brush 22 and I'm using the Bronzer Light from Charlotte Tilbury. So the Bronzer normally you apply it on the same points where you did apply your contour, okay? It's very seamless, a very natural finish. I'm going to pick this baby pink. This is my must go everyday refer blush. So, putting one time from the high points of my cheek down okay since I want to keep the light around the eyes I'm not bringing the blush further on this area because I don't want to cover the light I already put there so I'm mirroring the blush with the contour, okay? Now I'm going to proceed doing the other side on this area, okay? That light over there is good for the purpose, it's good for the purpose of the photography, my friends. For not saying I just got it yesterday. Okay, I'm going to use this beautiful uh, matte lipstick from Pat McGrath. You know, I'm here by pure heart and teach what I've been learning so far. And um, I love teaching techniques and uh, teaching, you know, how a product also can be a multitask product. Okay. God bless all. I'm trying to fix my hair because I never want to stay in place. And um, God bless you. I love you all. And I hope that you enjoy this video and enjoy the content. And, um, and if you learn something from this, I'm more than happy. Leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you soon. And I'm getting ready for the photography now. I will be listing all the product. Bye.